Hello, my name is Chris Knudsen, and I am with Mile High Vineyard. I want to talk to you a little bit about how faith walking has impacted both my life personally and how faith walking has impacted the life of our church. We started faith walking three years ago with our first 101 retreat. Since then, we've had five different 101 retreats. We've had a number of folks go through 101 and into 201 and moved into 202. Out of 202, we've had a number of folks become coaches. We've seen that as folks have become coaches, they've actually been able to help pastor, they've been able to help lead, they've been able to help connect and care for the people within our churches in ways that pastors couldn't reach out or couldn't get a hold of those folks. We've seen a number of different marriages restored because couples are able to communicate with one another in ways they haven't before. We've seen ways in which people are able to get freed up and released from anxiety or at least able to manage their anxiety. We've seen how people have been able to show themselves compassion when their shame voice shows up. We've been able to see people engage the mission of God for their life as they become more aware of who they are and the habitual disobediences that prevent them from living a life of radical obedience. I never knew that from my own personal life that I was a distancer, but seeing how I distance from my family, from my kids, seeing how that has impacted them and seeing how my involvement or lack thereof actually shapes who they're going to become in future years. I've been able to see and been able to recognize how I can engage a life differently. I've been able to see how I can manage my own anxiety. I've been able to see how I can communicate or clean up the messes and honor my word and be able to live a life that is much more fulfilling and much more purposeful. I can live a life that is engaging meaningfulness I've been able to look at the mission of God for my life. I've been able to attach my life to what God is doing in the rest of the world around me. I've been able to see my neighbors. I've been able to work with my neighbors and communicate with my neighbors and talk with my neighbors. We've been able to do barbecues. We've been able to have baptisms in our backyard. Faith walking, what it has done for us is it has moved us into an area of obedience. It has moved us into an area of being on mission for God. We've seen different leaders take ownership, step up to the plate and, and begin to interact and begin to engage with the people around them. We've seen so much healing from people who have embraced the family system's work and have engaged their family of origin. We've seen not just marriages restored, we, we've seen families restored as sons and daughters are engaging their mothers and fathers and they're engaging their siblings and they're, they're finding health and they're finding freedom in ways that they didn't know existed. We're so grateful here at the Mile High Vineyard. We're so grateful for what Faith Walking has done and for what we've been allowed to be a part of.